on my channel we've done some pretty crazy setups like this one this one this festive one and many more in fact there's already a playlist filmed full of them on my channel but do you know what is really bothering me the last barn tour i filmed was back in 2022 that was two years ago, which is absolutely crazy, and I have not done a barn tour since. Since then, I have been sent lots of new sets from Schleich, which obviously have not been included in any of the tours. Fast forward to today, where, let's be honest, I think I've had the craziest video idea yet for my channel. I hope you're sat down for this. Are you ready? Okay. I am going to do a barn tour that includes every single Schleich set that I own, ever, and I'm going to put it in one video, and I'm going to do a giant setup. <laughs> Oh my goodness, saying it out loud. What have I got myself into? This includes everything. All my homemade barns, all the like sets that I own, the fake grass, the houses, everything is in this video. So now the cat is out of the bag, you know what I have been doing these past few weeks. Let's rewind to the start, the very first day of the project when, let's just say, I was very unaware of the amount of work that was to come my way. <laughs> Arena. Um, uh, yeah, well, do the easy ones first. Yeah, like bring down the plastic boxes that because they're kind of easy to get down relatively easy. This feels like a good time to jump on and say welcome to my little brother. Um, without this legend. The whole barn probably still wouldn't be finished, so thanks little brother. Also you can probably tell by the size on those feet, he's not that little anymore. <laughs> Got it? Nice. Okay, I'll grab it off you. Okay, the Schleich stuff has come down. We've got one, two, three giant bags, four big boxes, and my brother's just getting the arena. Um, it's going well. The farmhouse. The cafe. <laughs> so we've just cleared an enormous gap in the kitchen and I think we're going to do the setup in here instead of outside because it's kind of windy outside and I don't want the like stuff blowing around everywhere that's going to be kind of annoying and besides here we've got chip I was really considering setting up the barn outside and it's what I initially thought I was going to do but it's a good thing it was windy that day because I was expecting to have the barn packed away by the evening and as you will tell um, throughout the video this is not going to be packed away by the evening I don't know where I was thinking like it was going Here we go, where we see the big baby Oh, that is disintegrating <laughs> <laughs> Very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta move these boxes. <laughs> it's quite big. It's actually a really good fit. Boxes. Rena. So the corner goes into the, this corner. Because that one will cut off. I think we need to spin it 180 degrees. Okay. <laughs> we need to spin it as well. <laughs> I'm spinning. Yeah, that makes sense. Look at the dog. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, so someone's enjoying the grass. <laughs> and, um... And um, yeah, you. So now we have to get in the big barns as the structure because we have a lot of open space right now. We've just remembered that we've left the main barn and the show barn. Um, yeah, they're not here yet, so we need to go and get those. <laughs> okay, it's um, it's time. Do you need a hand? I'm just gonna sit and film it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> a few spider webs. Okay, that's fine. There's a tree! Slightly heavy. You've got this. Nice one. Perfect. It has arrived. Oh, I'm so excited! Yee! 
Okay, now we have the other one that's bigger. <laughs> the spiders. Clear some of them. It's lighter, but it's really long. Not with Titanic right now. Okay, be careful with it. First step. The trust in you First right step. now is insane. <laughs> Watch the wall. Give it. <laughs> My goodness. Give it. There is stuff rolling in the barn. Okay, okay. We've done it. We've done it, Chip. Oh. You know, it kind of looks good already. We could just do this. We could just leave it, didn't we? We've got to impress, though. So what I'm thinking is, because I've actually like, I'm now looking at it and realizing we do have a lot of stuff to fit on this fairly small grass mat. I mean, it's not small, but considering how many things we have to fit, it is small. So we're gonna have to put, I think, some of the barns hanging off the edge of it. So the front of it's on the grass, so you see the effect. And then some of it's not on the grass. I think that's a good idea. Um, we can give it a try. Now, here is the point where my GoPro failed me. I had set up a time-lapse recording whilst I was fiddling around with the layout of the barn, and that was going on for quite a while, but for some reason it didn't save. I think it was to do with my storage space, um, so it was probably my fault. <laughs> but whilst I was doing that on the floor, I showed my brother how to fix uh, the clubhouse and the arena, which had taken some damage in the attic. So he was hot gluing all of the pieces back together uh, where it needed fixing, which was a real team effort. So thank you again, little brother. Here is the fixed arena. He did a brilliant job. Um, I did actually manage to get one tiny clip of me uh, fiddling around with the barn setup. Here it is. I think this one. Well, um, short and sweet. You get the gist. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now let's jump to the finished setup. Most of the big barns are set up and in their perfect spot now. And then I had an idea and I remembered this barn tour that I made back in 2019 where I'd used rocks from our driveway to create a path through the barn and I really liked that um, when I did it in that barn tour so I thought we needed to do it again for this one. So I delegated again and sent my brother off to find some rocks. Point of stones anyone? Unfortunately for him, he wasn't laughing for long because it turns out he picked rocks that were too small and they just got lost in the fake grass. So I sent him back out to find some bigger rocks that would actually work. <laughs> then we decided to take a break because we've been going for a few hours and we're tired. We just found cookies, <laughs> so we're having a bit of a snack. <laughs> okay, we've done our cookie break slash cloudy lemonade. Just wheezing in the corner there, okay. Um, we've got rocks put down for a path. The dog is still doing well. And um, I need to do something about the lying down horses in the middle of the arena. It's not giving like the kind of barn vibe we're looking for. It's a bit morbid, okay. <laughs> Back to the layout. Okay, we are finally getting to the details of the setup. The main barn was pretty much done because I'd filmed uh, Stacey's vlog on that recently, but um, the other barns and stuff don't have much in right now. So we are currently fixing that and um, my brother is on jump duty in the oh, arena, yes. <laughs> currently setting up like an, a medium sort of level jump course. Expert. Expert, okay. <laughs> Expert level difficulty. I'm just adding some details. Um, as you can see, we need horf, uh, horse hoof prints in the sand because right now it's looking a bit static. So I'm currently trying to fix that. Uh, what was the detail you just added? Oh, well, the, you see these flags? <laughs> yes. The wind is coming from the south. Oh, I see. So all the, you know. The flags, the flags are blowing. The south flags are all blowing in the same direction. Very nice. I have taught you well. <laughs> We worked for the rest of the day whilst my mum was at work and then remembered she was going to be coming home. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> okay. Bye. Now my original plan was to have it all tidied away like nothing ever happened by the time she got back. Um, but then she pulled in the driveway and 
we hadn't even finished setting up, let alone filming a whole barn door. So, yeah, we had to let her in the house. We couldn't just leave her out there. Oh, the wind's really strong. Shut the door. Okay, come on in. Don't freak out. Wow. <laughs> And just like that, it was accepted that the kitchen was now a farmyard in miniature form. So <laughs> it was, it went well, I would say. Um, it was quite an understated reaction, I won't lie. But um, let's just say I was glad I didn't have to take it all down immediately. And thank you very much to my family for letting me keep this up for longer than a week. Hello everyone, I have just woken up on day two of setting up the massive barn setup, ultimate barn setup thing. <laughs> and um, this is what the horse shelf is looking like this morning. We took quite a few down yesterday, but obviously we still have lots of models to choose from and add to the setup today. Um, I'm just going to go downstairs and look in the kitchen and see what the barn's looking like and if it took any damage overnight. That's better. <laughs> we are all set for filming. I am just going to bring down a very special cow with me and um, his adorable best friend is also gonna have to come. Let's go and add them to the barn. Okay, here we are. Oh my goodness, good morning, Chippy. Good morning. Oh, he's so cute. Look at you laying in the dry. Oh no, there go the rocks. Okay, so the rocks may need to be fixed. Got, got to say good morning to the barn dog. Hello, darling. Hello. He slept over there last night and I think he was a bit, um, not freaked out, but he was just a bit aware that something unusual was happening and he was not very happy about it being right outside his bed. Anyway, let's put Ronnie and Terry in there farm stable over here i think we are missing a um box of some kind because i haven't found the rest of my coral fencing along with a few other things like the um tent for the show and the supports for some of the show stadiums so potentially today we're going to be going back up into the attic to try and track down that box now from day two until day six it basically was me just working away to set up the story of the barn, all the details, put everyone in their correct positions and add all of the little things. It was a lot of work. We started on the Tuesday and then I worked until the Sunday. Uh, so my family lived without a kitchen table in the house <laughs> for basically under a week. And I finally filmed the barn tour on the Monday and took it all down that same day. Oh my gosh. Even I was relieved to have the kitchen back, <laughs> but it was pretty crazy and definitely worth it. And even my dad, bless him, had to go up into the attic and find me the extra box of stuff, which we did find in the end. It was hiding, which meant that we could set up all the arenas. And there was also an even bigger box um, that was full of the cow wash station, the camping sets, everything like fences and chicken coops. Uh, was in this spare box so <laughs> we found that and I added that all in as well. There were also a few adjustments I needed to make to the barn as time went on such as this. Last night I had to adjust some of the rock work that my brother had done because the dog, I'm not joking, he came and lay there and then started scratching about looking for a comfy spot and the rocks were just flew everywhere so I had to take them out from uh, like down this side here um, because of the beast, yes. <laughs> I also started to get a bit spooked by uh, certain creatures that I thought were following me around, e.g. Oreo Jr. Um, the eyes on that thing. A little bit terrifying, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> and finally, after hours of working on this, it was time for the final push to get the barn set up for filming. And I was very relieved. Now I'm going to whack on some music and get this done and filmed uh, before the rain starts because currently our kitchen table is in the garden and um, it's supposed to rain tonight, so I'm really on a tight schedule, and um, yeah, I have no time for hanging around, so let's do this.
Oh my goodness, what a journey. I am so excited for you guys to see the final barn tour. Make sure you're subscribed because I don't want you missing out on it when it uploads soon on my channel. And I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!